Well, Harvey, congratulations. It didn't take you long, did it? 20 or so minutes and, uh, and you're on the score sheet uh, in your first home start. So that's a, a pleasing one for you. Pleasing start, definitely. Um, it was real good to uh, yeah, get off to a goal scoring start at this, this fantastic stadium. Um, I mean, walking out, I just yeah, was amazed by, by the surrounding uh, atmosphere. And it was good that we, uh, I could get introduced to the Reading fans and Southampton brought a good, a good uh, travelling as well. So, yeah, it was a good, a good test today. It's a bit of a taste of it, really, isn't it? I know it's pre-season still. The stands, you know, a couple of them are still empty. But, you know, that's, uh, as you said, they feel like you're getting a taste for it straight away. Yeah, definitely, uh, especially with the, the bigger way following as well. Um, kind of what we're going to be used to. And, yeah, just getting familiar with the pitch. It's obviously quite a big one. And, uh, yeah, so perfect start. Yeah, and a perfect in the sense as well. You know, that link up that you've had all last season and stuff with Sam as well, you know, talk us through the goal. Yeah, um, so I've counter pressed well um, and then the balls kind of fell fell to Sam and just kind of having that understanding of each other's game. I know that when he's driving down on, on his left side there, I need to be on, inside him. So I've kind of made the, the underlap and he's he's found me well. Um, and I think, yeah, we've we've got that understanding in our game and now it's about building that relationship with the with the other players coming in the door and the ones already here. And obviously playing against a team like Southampton too. Again, they've not actually lost many players at all. You know, they're, they're still pretty much a Premier League squad really. So have you had many experiences like that? I mean, have you played against like cup games against big teams? Or what's, what's your kind of experience against those kind of squads? Yeah, funny enough, we had Southampton last year in, in the in the cup. And yeah, um, first thing we all notice is just the their ability on and off the ball. Um, yeah, it's almost frightening the way they press and the way they play. And like you said, they've got still got a lot of their Premier League quality in that squad. Um, and come the start of the season, you, you wouldn't really expect many of them to, to still be there. But yeah, these are the days where it's a good kind of test and, and you can compare yourself to the, the top level of football, really. So it's a good exercise. That's it. I mean, you've got had a bit of a range, haven't we? We've had Wimbledon and, and Sutton you know, in, the, in the first weeks. And now we've got three championship clubs. So, you know, and a lot of them have a lot of quality. So that'll stand you in good stead, right? That's the privilege of pre-season. You can kind of play the teams from the different leagues and it's different challenges each week, like you said. So it's just, yeah, testing and adapting your game style and methods to, to these different different qualities. And hopefully, again, managers here, you know, doing his post-match too and getting his point across. Hopefully, you know, we've got, we've had so many double sessions and working hard and getting the bodies and minds hopefully ready for, for the season. That's the important thing. Um, the, the gaffer's obviously been, been having those double sessions, getting across his style of play and you can... You can see each each week it's it's slowly moulding together a lot more the relationship to the players and the understanding the positions and it's it's really good because then the players coming into the building um, they can learn quickly if the other boys know know it off by heart also. Uh, so obviously you talked about wanting to be the first through the door you know have you seen other boys starting to join the club now and again they're going to take a bit to get up to speed and I think we all know that maybe the first month or so might be a little bit of a gelling period but you know hopefully we can come out a strong start when it kicks off in a couple of weeks time. That was the reason, uh, yeah, that I wanted to get in the door early, just just to learn the gaffer's style and um, his methodology, really, and then I can I can be kind of that that voice to help the new boys coming in and, and settle as well as they need to. But yeah, it's been really good so far. Mm -hmm. and, and lastly, yeah, got a couple more games now in the in the next seven days. We've got Swansea in a week's time and QPR between that. So uh, yeah, just another couple of brilliant brilliant opportunities to, to test ourselves. A couple more tests against good opposition. Um, so yeah, hopefully build a few more relationships and just uh, each game we can see progression with the system.